Hey everybody, Jake and Gino here, and we have an important message today. There are two opportunities that are on the horizon that we want to share with you to get strategic with your multifamily planning. And the first one is very obvious. We all know about COVID-19 and the impact that it has had on our economy. The thing we're looking for here, though, is the, the point, the intersection where the banking eases up, the lending eases up, and the opportunities are still there. There's an interesting thing that happens in real estate. When the market goes down, the banks tighten up. Then when the market starts to climb back up, the banks open up a little bit, but the opportunities are still there and people many times are late to the game. The key to this message is being prepared and being ready to seize those opportunities. Currently, there are, are opportunities out there, but it's much harder with the lending. And we, we know in the next six to 10 months, the banks will ease up. We're already starting to see it a little bit. And there's going to be a beautiful intersection where the lending eases up and the deals are still out there. And we don't want people to miss this. And Jake, the great thing about it is that in the Jake and Gino community, we teach our students various techniques to take advantage of what's going on in this current market cycle. We talk about market cycles, which are really important. And in this part of the market cycle, two things are really popping up right now. The first one is owner financing. We teach our students how to use owner financing. And the second one is community banks. When Jake and I started back years and years ago, everyone said out there, man, there's deals out there, but there's no money. And then as things progressed, there were less deals, but there's money. Now we're back to that point where deals are going to come be coming back. So it's imperative to start your investing now. It is the only the right time to start when you are ready. I was ready back when I started with Jake and I took my education. It took a little while for me to build my teams, my systems, get my education, select my market. All of that took time and I needed to work on myself. I was ready. The question is, are you ready? Now is the time to get started because it's going to take you a little bit of time, like Jake said, to start taking all of this knowledge and start implementing it. The second opportunity is our bread and butter, and it's what we call mom and pop apartments. Mm -hmm. We believe there's a five to 10 year window remaining on the inventory for these mom and pop apartments. Now, what is a mom and pop, mom and pop apartment? Simply put, this is an apartment complex where the owners do not have the proper systems in place. You, you go back to the, the, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, many people bought apartments because they just said, oh, this is a great investment, but they treated them as extremely passive. Now, we don't treat our multifamily investments as extremely passive. We're hands-on managers, whether hands-on managers of the manager or managing ourselves. Now, the key here is that these mom and pops typically have rents that are far below market and then when they are purchased when someone comes in and buys these mom and pop apartments they get their rents up to what we call market rates now these are tremendous opportunities there's still many mom and pop apartments out there but i do see the window closing in the next five to ten years because more and more large institutions are pushing into the multifamily space because they see the demographic shifts. They see the huge demand for apartments and they want a piece of the action. So they're even pushing down into the smaller and smaller uh, unit sizes. So it's very important to seize the opportunity over these next five to 10 years to get your piece of the mom and pop apartment space. And Jake makes an excellent point. Just go out and take a look at all the businesses around you that are mom and pops. How do we know mom and pops? I used to run a mom and pop restaurant. They are all over the place. It's very easy. The, the key is the seller is motivated. We teach our students with our you know, proprietary three-step framework, the buy right, the manage right, and the finance right. All three keys of those really dovetail into a mom and pop. How do you identify a mom and pop? How do you buy a mom and pop? The manage right portion, you know that wheelbarrow, that manage right, we're going to teach you how to manage these mom and pops and get that cash, be able to reposition the asset, increase the value, and then finally, the finance right part, the third part where you can refinance these mom and pops, pull the money out, and we say rinse and repeat and go buy your next mom and pop. Basically put, a mom and pop is motivated, whether they're going mm -hmm. through a bankruptcy, whether they have no systems, whether they're burned out. They're just a landlord. They're not really looking at it as an investment. It's really crucial with the Jake and Gino community. We focus on these and we have a very large portfolio. Every single one of our deals has some type of motivation and is a mom and pop, whether it's a 16 unit mom and pop or a 281 unit mom and pop. There's always some type of motivation with these deals. So here at Jake and Gino, we're all about over delivering. We promised you two, but I have a bonus. 
Uh-huh. Now, this is, this is a little inside baseball here because some of the deals that Gino and I see coming across our desk right now, there's a special thing that's happening in the financing world. And a few years ago, the uh, agencies, Fannie and Freddie, started extending the amount of interest only that they, that they were offering. The funny thing is that interest only period is burning off, and some of these deals are now coming back. So the third opportunity that is on the horizon that we're just starting to see is that there's many deals out there where the interest only period has burned off. And now the people that are holding these assets did not manage correctly and the deals are starting to become available. So that's one to look out for, you know, over the next few years as well. And we're just starting to see that now. We've been speaking about this for years, but those are just starting to come back to us as well. So be on the lookout for those. That's excellent, Jake. So let's just recap this. Urgency is key right now. Deals are coming back in the market. We are in a very great time of the market cycle to start taking action. Start looking for those mom and pops and start taking action on your education. Yeah, and it always comes back to education times action will equal your results in multifamily. The key here is to get prepared. There's opportunities on the horizon, but the first step, the first step of the equation is get educated then take action when those opportunities come to you to get your results. That's the key. That's the message that we've been pounding for years, and we believe it because we've lived it. So, Gino, thank you so much for your time today. Let's go out there, and let's make it happen, everyone. Thanks, gang. 